Hello Libra and welcome to your mid-January 2020 reading. I hope the year is starting off in a good way for you. This is a general reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The messages are intended to be general in nature to reach the collective, but at times may get specific. Uh, this mid-month sequence has been becoming a little bit specific, so if it doesn't resonate with you, check your birth chart for other prominent placements and watch those readings as well. For a personal reading or to purchase any of my Oracle decks, the link to Etsy is down below. I have added three new listings with video previews of the decks if you want to check it out. I would appreciate it if you would. Okay, so Libra, let's get started by drawing the focus for the last uh, two weeks of the month. Let's see what we've got here. Second half of January for Libra. What is the message for Libra spirit? What does Libra need to know for the second half of January? What is their focus for the... Wow, I'm gonna put them back, it's too many. Let's try that again. Focus for Libra for the second half of January, spirit. I'll give it another chance. They're yeah, it felt like there were a few messages that needed to come through. All right, so first we have message in a bottle, hearing from someone, news from someone from afar, a message you've been waiting for, a message you're delivering, a leg up, support, help. Hmm, okay. All right, Spirit, what is the strongest energy around Libra for the second half of January. Strongest energy around Libra. The sun, light, beautiful, wow. Wow, I'm, I'm getting a strong message that you are a bright spot in somebody's life. That they, they, they lean on you, they look to you for for support. Okay, let's see where this goes. Mm, I just saw the love card. I love that. Beautiful. But let's see what wants to come through. Okay, what are the strongest themes for Libra for the second half of January, Spirit? Anything else? Strongest energy for Libra. My gosh. Woo. Holy cow, guys. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Get clarity. That, that has been a, a bit of a recurring theme. I think this is about looking beneath the surface of something. We also have read between the lines, understanding what someone's not saying, finding hidden meanings. There is a message of prominent importance in this reading. Inadequate, the realization that there's something going on that is not working. Something needs to change. Holding on. This can be holding on to an idea. It can be um, clinging to something. Withholding. Something is not being talked about, but maybe needs to. I'll put that over here. Then we have waiting for you. Forgiveness and making plans. Woo! Wow, Virgo had a lot too. Golly, the messages just fly out. All right, so I'm not going to clarify each one, but I am going to pull tarot and then we will clarify it. Okay. Spirit, what is it that Libra needs to know about this spread for the second half of January? 
what does Libra need to know for the second half of January, please? Oop, that wants to come out. Anything else? Anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Second half of January for Libra. What are the strongest messages that they need to hear? Anything else? Okay. Wow, just four cards. That's crazy. We'll start out here. We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. This is about vulnerability. Um, someone who's feeling um, a lack in some way, maybe, you know, poverty consciousness or something. Hmm. Okay. Then we have the High Priestess. Trusting intuition, having clarity. This can also be about secrets. The High Priestess is about things that are kind of hidden. <clears throat> we have the Page of Wands energy. <coughs> Excuse me. New project or creative idea can also indicate um, a traveler. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. New relationship. New beginning. That's lovely. Only four cards. So if I if I look at what's going on here, I feel like somebody is in a in a place of instability. And I think that there is this clarity about needing to move out of that, needing support also to move out of that. There may have been something that's that's happened. Um, in a relationship dynamic that um, requires some forgiveness and somebody's ready to, to move forward to a new beginning. Wow, like, I just got like coming into the light. Holy cow. Okay, maybe it's not as deep as what I'm feeling, but I'm kind of feeling something, something else going on. So let's clarify. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? What does Libra need to know about this? Four of Pentacles reverse, please, Spirit. Why is that here? Okay, we've got the Magician. Focused creativity. Turning things into reality. Maybe not liking, you know, where one has been and wanting to create a new life. Wow. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Moving on, moving on from something to something more fulfilling. Okay, what else? Four of Pentacles, Reverse Magician. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> wow. Interesting. Yeah, desiring security, taking control, holding on. The Three of Pentacles is about um, applying your skills, collaboration, working together, leg up, getting support from someone else, I'm feeling, okay? Bottom of the deck, strength. Let's look at this High Priestess energy. Why is that here? High Priestess. Wow, from feeling unstable to creating a, a new reality, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that it kind of takes guts. What else? High Priestess. Why is that here? High Priestess. High Priestess. The Emperor. Divine Masculine Energy. It's about taking control. Leadership. Planning. Okay. Ooh. And clarity, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What else? High Priestess Emperor, what else? Okay. The Hierophant. 
traditions, conventions, commitments, contracts, relationship. I'm getting strong commitment here. Okay, what about the Page of Wands? Why is that here? <laughs> okay, Page of Pentacles. New job, news, something tangible. A new creative idea, news about, about something, and then we have the Four of Wands. Celebration. This is about happy life, homecoming. Wow. Okay, let's move on to the Ace of Cups. Why is that here? So far, so good, right? Ace of Cups. Please clarify the Ace of Cups. The moon. Hmm. Secrets deep feelings, maybe fear, um, something unseen, maybe a new love that, that you don't see coming. Maybe this new beginning requires, um, you know, revealing some things. Maybe things are, are secret. Maybe they need to come to light. Clarify. Oh, let's look at the bottom of the deck. I always like that. The lovers. Why is the moon here? What is that about the moon? Eight of swords, restrictions, um, feeling stuck. Six of wands, victory, success, good news. Um, I, I think that this is maybe where this forgiveness energy comes in. Something's hidden. Something's maybe repressed or, or um, causing someone to, to feel this restriction and they're hoping it goes well. I don't know. That could be bottom, <laughs> bottom of the deck strength. Yeah, you know, you can't make this up. All right, let's put this deck down, and now let's find out what else you need to know about this situation. How will this unfold for Libra, Spirit? This seems like a really straightforward message. Somebody is regaining stability, taking control, moving forward, um, and is a little concerned about maybe how something will be perceived or something that's been kept hidden. <laughs> Strength. Seriously. Yeah, I feel like strength is needed or they're having strength to do this. Like they're 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 riding the ship, you know. Okay. Uh what else does Libra need to know? How this will unfold. What can you tell us, spirit? What does Libra need to know about how this will unfold? What else does Libra need to know, please, about this situation? anything. Really? Okay. <laughs> and they come tumbling out. Here we go. All right. We have the Ten of Wands. Someone feeling a little bit burdened. The Six of Pentacles. Wanting to balance things out. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. This is about independence. Um, it, it's also a little bit about um, financial gain, you know, enjoying the pleasures of life. This is, you know, this is about someone's foundation and stability here. Eight of Wands, communication, action, for some maybe even travel. Okay, um, I want one more. So this is about the journey. What about the outcome? Anything else about the outcome for Libra? <laughs> wow. Eight of Swords. We have it here too. What else? 
somebody's somebody's a little bit stuck or worried. Five of Wands, feeling like there may be a struggle. Anything else? King of Pentacles. Solid, practical. I, I feel like this this really is somebody um, having some real concern about this new beginning. Let's, um, let's pull from the lighted pathway and find out what else you need to know about this. couple shuffles. Okay, what does Libra need to know about the outcome of this situation? Outcome, advice, timing. Show us what we need to see, please. Outcome, advice, timing for Libra. What does Libra need to know about this situation? What does Libra need to know about this situation? Anything else? Okay, whoops. Well, let's see what we have. Oh my gosh. I've, I've seen these cards today. This is really interesting. So either this is picking up on something another sign is experience or experiencing or... Um, it's popular. <laughs> I don't know. We have something isn't right. Huh. This is really about digging in deeply. Um, and it's, it's either you or your person, but the, it's something needs to be better understood is what I'm getting from that. Confidence. There's that strength energy. Somebody who's really concerned about, about, coming out ahead or, or resolving something um, adequately needs to have the strength to get through this. It's going to differ for each of you. If forgiveness is needed for something that's happened, that's probably why there's some stress here. And then we have complement each other. Wow. Okay, let's pull a message from Spirit on this one. Any guidance for Libra, Spirit? Any guidance for Libra regarding this spread? Guidance for Libra, please, for the last half of January. Okay. You're being given a chance to do something over. What will you do differently? Wow. And this one is peaking. I'll grab it. Our souls are evolving and learning lessons. Sometimes we have difficult past karma to work through. Acknowledge your difficulties and heal from them. Yeah, I feel like that's this person here. So somebody is going to be communicating to you. They need support. The light is, you know, happiness, illumination. There's a new beginning in love here, but, you know, some, some things may not be um, immediately apparent, but may, may be coming to light. Okay, Libra, I think I'm going to leave it there. Sorry for the long reading. I hope this message was helpful for you. Have a great rest of your month. Love and light to you. Bye.